On behalf of the Board of Governors, we'd like to wish Jerome a happy 50th year at Bayview. To the King of Bayview, cheers. Cheers. Here's to you. Jerome, bitch dog. <laughs> you gotta love it, 50 years. We're talking bachelor party. I go way back with this gentleman. And I had so much confidence in him that I decided to have my employees for a Christmas party, which grew from 100, 200, 300, 400 people. And I said, Jerome, you gotta make uh, Hummers for all of them, which he did. He finally said to me, we don't have enough uh, mixer. He said, I'm gonna buy one and charge it to you. He did. So he and Tony, managed to serve up uh, Hummers faster than three to 400 people could drink them. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guy. Congratulations, Jerome. We yeah. wish we were there, but we're in Montreal. I want to wish you the very best. You've done a magnificent job, and I am proud to be a member at your club. A few years past, there were two young ladies here at the round table in the bar using their cell phones. Jerome told them once, no cell phones in the bar. Again, they picked them up and both were chatting away. Jerome went up to them again and said, you're out of here. Let that be a lesson. Jerome is your friend. He's the boss of the bar. If he tells you something, do it. Uh, Jerome has been on me for years yes, about joining Bayview, and the funny part is, is that actually he signed my application one time, and I thought, all right, fine, I got to do this. So I had my head down at the bar, you know. I think Clune Walsh had my head pinned, and they were forcing me to sign the application. I said I'd do it as long as Jerome was sponsoring me. So he signs it as sponsor. Heads up north, I get uh, I get a call a couple days later, and I got my application was denied. I'm like, oh, thank God, but why? And uh, it turns out it's because Jerome was my sponsor. Hey, Jerome, I've known you since 1971. You haven't changed a bit. Your drinks are still stiff. Mr. Adams, this is Dan Musser from Grand Hotel on Mackin Island and from all of your friends here. Congratulations on 50 years at the club. Um, I know the club is better off because of that, and all of us are better off for your wonderful creation that you've made for all of us to enjoy. Thank you and cheers and 50 more. So. Another year goes by or so, and Jerome's giving me the application, and, and every time I'd walk in the bar, hey, bang, where's that application? <laughs> and so I'm sitting at the bar one day, and they got the four o'clock club, and this was the old guard. This was the Doug Bakers, Jay Schmitz, all the gang. No offense, Jay, you're not that old. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, but you know, well, let's see. Uh, so, so, uh, so Jerome comes out with an application, and he hands it to me, and this was, I don't know if they still are, because I haven't had one in a while, but um, they were the trifold thing, and so you have to unfold it, whatever, and you look at it. And back in the day, this was right when that big smoke eater issue was going on, because I think you guys spent a really good sum of money on that, maybe $87,000 that a non-member doesn't know. But besides that, so just uh, I was just guessing. So uh, the whole guard's there. Jerome gets called away from the bar back into the, uh, into the, into the kitchen. I run around, the smoke eater's on, because it was really helpful. And um, uh, I, stu I unfolded it and stuck it up to the smoke eater and ran out of the club. So I get in my car, I'm driving down the, <laughs> driving down the, uh, the driveway, and I call the bar, and Jerome answers the phone. He's, Baby, I'll come. And uh, I said, hey, Jerome. I said, it's Baker. Where's the application, Baker? I go, look up. <laughs> what are you talking about, Baker? I said, like Isaiah Thomas, Jerome, look up. And he goes, looks up, and I can just hear, that ain't funny, Baker. <laughs> I, said, I go, it's a little funny, Jerome. That ain't funny, Baker. I said, I love you, Jerry. I love you too, Baker. Click. <laughs> so, God love you, Jerome. Hopefully you got another 50 years in you. God knows I do. Love you, man. Bye. Hey, big bruh. Happy 5 -0. Hope you enjoy. Sorry I couldn't be with you, but I love you. Hope to see you in November. Hi, Jerome. We'd like to thank you for all the years and everything you've done to be a part of our lives. Even the drinks and looking out for us and when we could leave or whatnot and sitting by the fire and tending the fire to us, but also being a part of our family. So on behalf of three generations of Kibbles, we'd like to congratulate you on 50 years. Cheers. 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 Thanks, Jerome. Jerome. Cheers, Jerome. Baby one night, we had blues night. Peter Griffin put it together. And this band came up from Toledo and they were phenomenally good. Everybody's sitting in the bar, nobody's dancing. I said, bullshit. I went out and danced with myself and Jerome goes, Nada, what are you doing out there alone? <laughs>
<laughs> I said, I'm dancing, Jerome, I'm dancing. <laughs> Happy 50th anniversary, Jerome, from the Commodore John Barber family. Congratulations! But well, he was a friend of me, too. I mean, sometimes he would tell me when I was fucking up the day I got with my DUI in 1989. He told me, don't get in that car. Did I pay any attention? Ah, oh, what an asshole I am. Hey, Jerome, Bruce Burton here. Just wanted to congratulate you on 50 years of successful inebriation at Bayview Yacht Club. The invention of the Hummer was obviously primo. Understand that Ed Jacoby named it. But also, thank you for your personal involvement of pouring so many stingers into those two world championship trophies that we won. You obviously filled the Canvas Cup a few times and many trophies, and you'll always go down in our history as the best bartender for feeling, filling trophies with stingers that we've ever had. We just need a few more trophies. Good luck to you. And hey, Jerome. On behalf of the Fine Yacht Dynamis, we just all kind of wanted to wish you a, a, a congratulatory salute for your 50 years at Bayview. So I'm going to turn it over to the gang here, guys. Happy 50 years, Jerome. 50 more. Salute. Happy 50 Amazing. years, Jerome. I've known you 45, and you helped me raise my kids. Thank you. <laughs> and that's a challenge. 50 years of Hummers. Way to go. Happy anniversary. Hey, Bri. Yeah, here we go. Hey, guys. Here we go. Jerome. I hope you're having as much fun as we are. Happy 50th. Harumph. Harumph. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Jerome. Great 50. 50 more. Happy anniversary. Oh, that, hey, he's been sleeping all day. Sorry about that. <laughs> Happy 50th, Jerome. Happy anniversary, Jerome. Hey, Jerome. Good to see you. Good to hear from you. We love you. Happy 50. Jerome, happy 50th. We love you. And to tap things, cap things off. Hey, Jer. Um, can't thank you enough for the 50 years you've, you've uh, made it there. Um, however, I heard that it hasn't... It just it turned off. <laughs> if I were to make a list of the top 10 bars in America, in the top three would be the Bayview Yacht Club. Of course, the ambiance is nice, right on the water there. The drinks, particularly the Hummers, are special. But the real reason the Bayview Yacht Club Bar is so special is been Jerome. Jerome, I'll never forget when I mentioned you on the air on ESPN during the America's Cup. I don't think I've ever paid for a drink since. Congratulations and thank you to your service to all the members and the sport of sailing. Good luck to you, Jerome. Hey, Jerome, this is Chris Shuffler from Shuffler's Mackin Island Ferry Service wishing you a happy 50th, and here's to 50 more. Our salute to you. guy about your room though is don't none of you guys turn on your goddamn cell phones in here this is the bar <laughs> anyway i understand you've had 50 years but i did hear that you actually had 30 days yourself once or twice so now maybe this party instead of being in october should be in november or december but i'll leave that up to the member oops oh. <laughs> i love you god loves you and i hope you love yourself jerome god loves you man. now get that car out of that parking lot and get those ass out of those chairs